This tutorial is going to show you how to do a ponytail with a lot of lift at the crown. My hair has been styled with a curling iron and I've used the products that I use every day. So you can refer to the products I use on a daily basis post for the hair products. And the tutorial titled How to Curl Your Hair with a Curling Iron, the full head tutorial would be best um, to get the look that I'm starting with right now. Um, an easy way to get a little bit of lift at the crown, crown, if you're not able to do that just in one shot, is to break it in half. So first we're going to clip up the top section, and then we're going to pull the ponytail back, and then we're going to unclip the top section. So you sort of want lift right here, sort of at the back. You don't want this action where it's too high in front, but sort of naturally where you have lift is kind of right at the back center of your head. So we're going to grab a section just on top, not all of the hair up here, sort of just the top layer. And if you've got a little bit of product in your hair, it'll cooperate a lot more. So you can see I'm just barely holding this top section. And we're going to grab a little um, jaw clip and just ever so lightly clip just those top layers loosely right up there. Don't worry, we're not going to leave that clip in. So from here, I would say grab a little scr uh, clear scrunchie, sort of put it around your hand. Um, as far as it can go, and depending on the clear scrunchie you get, it'll either be really, really elastic or really, really tight. The ones I recommend are the Polybands by Conair, because they're not too tight, not too stretchy. So, you want to grab your hair, sort of loosely, and bring it right back to the center of your head, but make sure you don't include the little duck, or jaw clip that we put in there. Make sure that's above your hand. Wrap it around a few times. And sort of stretch it out if you need to. Check the front and make sure if you like to have your ears completely um, showing, you can sort of pull it back a little tighter than I did, but I like it a little bit looser over my ears. Um, and then sort of stretch that out to get a nice little bouncy ponytail back there. And then, just very loosely, take the clip out and you've got the lift up there that you've put in initially. So this would be a good time to get a little bit of hairspray in there, especially if it wants to separate like mine is doing right now. Um, you could spray that where it is or slip a little bobby pin in there to hold that in place. And then my final little ponytail trick is to grab the bobby pin. What we're going to do is put it straight into the ponytail and down. So sort of separate your hair out of the way. You're going to stick the bobby pin in straight and then direct it down. Sort of spread that so you, you should feel it pressing against your head. So that's a great way to get a little extra bump at the top of your ponytail. You can do that with a few bobby pins if your hair is heavy. And if your hair is straight, you want to make sure you put it in far enough so the little end of that bobby pin doesn't show. So here's a little bouncy ponytail with lift at the crown. And um, if you want to, from here, you could do the messy bun tutorial if you want to sort of grab that and wrap another hairband around that and you'll have just a higher messy bun.